In this video we'll take a look at Polyboard's CNC manufacturing output. Polyboard Pro PP includes a range of post processors to output the files that your CAM software needs to run your CNC machine. What's really good about the post processors in Polyboard is that you can configure them to match your specific machine setup. That means you don't have to make any adjustments in your CAM software, you just import the files from Polyboard to automatically create the code to run your machine. This saves a lot of time. We can access the list of post processors by going to the file menu and clicking on post processor options. We've got post processors for Felder machines at the top here. Here are BSE post processors. We've got TPA CAD for BTAP and other brands. Woodwatt post processors for HOMAG and Zilog for SCM and Morbidelli machines. Let's take a closer look at a BSE post processor and we'll go straight down to the tools section here. Now any machining that is a drilling operation is automatically identified by the CAM software so we don't need to configure that and so it's not listed here. However, other machining operations like profiling, groove, mortising, uh, chamfer and inner tooling, these do need to be configured. Each of your machine's tools will have a specific tool name or number which you enter here in the settings. Getting that set up is the key element of the integration. Once you've done that, your CAM software will automatically assign the right tool for each type of machining. You've also got additional parameters for access speed, which is the feed rate, and for rotation speed here. Uh, normally these are configured on the machine, so you don't need to enter them here. We've also got extra parameters to fine tune how the various machining operations are carried out. For example, here and here we've got additional parameters for the groove and mortise operations. Finally back at the top we've got some general parameters. To take one example, export, we've got an option all parts or tooled parts. You would want to export all parts if you're using a nesting CNC as it cuts and machines all parts in one operation. So you need all of them. However if you have a point to point CNC this only does the machining so you only need to export parts that require machining. If you don't see your configuration or machine in the list, you can also use our DXF post processor. We've got a list of some DXF post processors here. Again, the DXF file format can be configured so the CAM software will automatically create the code to run your machine. You won't have to manually set up and add the tool paths each time. Let's take a look at the DXF VCARB post processor. Here we've got some general parameters and the ability to fine tune the machining operations in various ways. Let's just focus on the toolpaths, that's the most important section. I'm going to open up some of these to show you. So each DXF file is made up of layers, with each layer corresponding to a particular tooling operation on your machine. All you need to do is name the layer to correspond to the required CAM software input. This usually implies inserting a tool number here and related tooling information. Please refer to your machine manual on how to do this. The layer name will then be recognised by your CAM software to automatically assign the right tool for your machining. We're now in project mode and we've got a completed project open here. When you want to output the files for your CAM software, go to the file menu then click on post processor export and select the post processor you want to use and also a location to save the files to, click OK reports generated, click OK again and you're done. So coupled with Polyboard's design capabilities the result is a very fast and efficient manufacturing process that we're also happy to help you with any element of the setup if you need it. Thanks very much for watching, goodbye.